to get to a story out of the State House tonight. New details about several proposals at the State House to combat sexual harassment in the workplace. We first told you about the legislation that's now being considered on Eyewitness News at 6 right here on WPRI 12. It's important to note, though, not everyone is on board with what's being put forward. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is in the newsroom with more. Steph? The package of bills came out of a special commission that's been meeting over the last couple months to discuss workplace sexual harassment. It was formed in the wake of the Me Too movement, but some business groups are concerned that the requirements in these bills could be burdensome. The time to act is now. Time's up. Representative Teresa Tanzi and other members of the commission urging their colleagues to pass a group of bills aimed at reducing sexual harassment. In part, citing a WPRI Roger Williams poll that found 85% of Rhode Islanders think it's a serious problem. One bill would require workplaces with 50 or more employees to have sexual harassment training. It's important to have your employees trained to recognize it and to intervene if possible. Another would prohibit employers from requiring those non-disclosure agreements when it comes to complaints. No one can be forced, if this law passes, to remain silent and suffer quietly. We're just concerned that this language would actually squelch or chill settlement agreements, and I don't think that's something that anyone really wants to see happen. Lynette Forey from the Northern Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce testified that NDAs can be necessary, but Tansy argues the agreements not to speak only help the harassers. All these NDAs do are keep serial abusers from being um, out in the out, like being outed, essentially. The Chamber of Commerce also opposing the mandatory training bill, concerned about the requirements to train employees within three months of hire and get a refresher every two years. This bill we believe would be costly and disruptive. And no action was taken on these seven bills. The General Assembly typically adjourns in June, so there are a couple weeks for the bills to make it through. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.